Hey. I... Did you get my star? Yeah, thank you. That was really sweet. Uh, Michaela, I've been thinking and, um, you know, we both have had a lot on our plates lately. Yeah, and um, I was thinking maybe... Oh, I wait, mean... just let me finish. Uh, you know how much I like you, but lately it just it feels like we're kind of off and you know, maybe we should go back to being friends. I mean, that's how we started, right? Um, sure, uh, of course. Uh, well, I uh, better go. Oh, wait. This came with the star. Name the star MC squared. Yeah, Michaela McAllister. Just wait, even if we don't see each other face to face for a while. I'll see you every time I look up at the night sky. I'll have to do. Well, bye. Bye, Kyle. Remind me to surprise you more often. I usually don't like frosting, but this is killer good. I need you to call Brian Cam. And then we saw for sure, meaning Lazarus is behind everything. She's been watching the Quail and I this entire time. Now it makes sense why she quit today. I guess running an evil empire is more rewarding than making scones. Guys. This whole thing has been about Lazarus getting revenge on the quail and innovate. We have to stop her. Michaela, the quail said this was too dangerous. And I believe her. Now more than ever, you have to let it go. Besides, if something happened to you, we'd never forgive ourselves. Come on, I, I can't do this alone. I need you. Em, we're responsible for all this going wrong in the first place. Clearly, we're not cut out to be secret agents. You're all more capable than you know. I have total faith in you guys. That's just it. We don't have faith in ourselves. We're sorry, Em. Me too. details before our move to a new location. I should be home soon. Fine. Look, I know you're sad to leave, but right now, as hard as this is, I need you to pack. What do you think I'm doing? It looks like you're randomly throwing your clothes around your room. <sighs> there, ready. Michaela. No, you don't understand what it's been like to bounce around from town to town my entire life. I finally felt like I belonged somewhere. I made friends. 
and they'll always be your friends no matter where you go. But we have to leave for our own safety. Why? Why do we have to run? Why can't we stay and fight back? Or maybe you don't want to fight back. I don't have to explain this to you. I'm your boss and your mother. Now we're leaving before sun up. End of discussion. You know, maybe none of this would have ever happened if Innovate had a better leader. That's enough, Michaela. Face it, Quail. Lazarus beat you, and you can't handle it. All right, I know you're upset and emotional. Maybe I gave you too much responsibility. Clearly, you weren't ready for it. Oh, really? Well, if that's how you feel, maybe I should just go somewhere where my talents will be appreciated. We're done here. Just finish packing. I smell opportunity. Dr. Crawford, I'm Federal Agent DeFazio. This is Agent Feeney. We have some questions about the recent break-in here at Space Inc. And the whereabouts of one of your employees who may be a possible suspect. Certainly. Uh, I'm sorry, but you both seem awfully young to be federal agents. We're a part of the New Youth Government Task Force, ma'am. That's all we could say for now. Feel free to call this number at the Bureau. Should put your mind at ease. Actually, I have a contact there myself. Agent Dale Cooper, if you don't mind. Don't mind at all. Cooper's a good man. Just make it quick. Our nation's security is at risk. I'm sure you understand. Five, 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 seven, seven, four, three. Got it! We're in! And we control the phone line. Voice altering app ready? You're all set! Special Agent Cooper's office. Why can the British accent? You want it official? Everything sounds official in England. Yes, this is Dr. Allison Crawford at Space Inc. I need authorization from Agent Cooper regarding to... Agent Cooper's in a high-level security meeting right now. Wants to confirm Agents DeFazio and Feeney have arrived. They have. <laughs> Professor Cato did tell me the prototype could be very dangerous, but I can't believe he'd try and steal it. That's why his disappearance is a cause for concern. If he's innocent, he's got nothing to hide. But in the wrong hands, the research could be used as a weapon, making his owner very powerful. If the professor contacts you, you'll let us know? Of course. One more thing. We've learned Olivia James is coming to Space Inc. to improve the menu for Mission to Mars. Uh, yes. Is she a suspect? Not at the moment. But do you have any idea what type of culinary delight she may enjoy? We're through here. It was worth a shot. These wires simulate the feeling of being in low gravity. Ember and Tessa will be practicing the bunny hop, the slow motion jog, and the side to side. All of these maneuvers were used by our Apollo astronauts for their walk on the moon. Whoa! Uh oh! Dude, that right there is why Neil Armstrong called it one small step for man. You're getting it, Tessa. Come on, girl. Follow my lead. Excellent. And that right there is why we can now call it one giant leap for womankind. Son, you just got school. Today on Bryant's, we are joined by my FSS AVF, Michaela McAllister! <laughs> so, Michaela, the buzz is you've got something shocking to show us. That's right, we're talking static electricity. As they say, two heads are better than one. <laughs> static electricity is what happens when you walk on a carpet, touch a doorknob, and generate a spark. Ouch! You're generating an imbalance between negative and positive electrical charges, which can become a hair-raising experience. Audience, you decide. Does this look totally current or like a super bad hair day? Kyle's at 12 o'clock. Mm -hmm. I should talk to him about Michaela. Are you loca? It's a recipe for disaster. And I know my recipes. I'm just going to ask if he's taking Hannah to the dance. <sighs> okay, I support you, Chica. But let the record show, if this goes badly, I was home sick today. Hmm? Hey, Kyle. How's it going? Hey, Cam. What's up? Well, I was just wondering if you were taking anyone to the dance. Like, off 
the top of my head say Hannah? No. That's great. Uh, because, see, I have this friend. Oh, and this friend wants to ask me? Yes, but she's a little shy, and she's afraid what your answer would be. Well, you can tell your friend that I would say yes. Great. She'll be happy to hear that. Uh, just to be clear, you don't mean you, right? Oh, no, no, not me. <laughs> I don't want to go with you. <laughs> um, I, I mean, not that I wouldn't go with you, because you wouldn't be a bad choice for someone if they wanted to ask them to go as friends. Hey, you know, it's okay. I definitely wouldn't ask you either. Um, well, that's, that's not uh, what I meant. It, it's just that I'm not uh, interested in, uh, even though there's no reason why someone or I wouldn't ask you, because uh, who wouldn't be interested in you or ask you? Uh, Including me. Exactly. And I'd say yes, because I wouldn't say no. Because there would be no reason why someone like me wouldn't want to go with someone like you. Right? Uh, uh, wait. So does this mean we're going to, together? Um, I guess so. OK. Well. I will meet you there. So, I'm going to the dance with Kyle. K? And not K like okay, but K as in what? How did this happen? I'm not sure. I'm going to have to make a graph.